Hello children, how are you? Hope that you are all doing good. Do you remember what we were discussing in the few last few classes? Yes, we were discussing about friction. Friction is the force which opposes motion. It tries to hold back the objects which are moving. We know that friction is caused by the irregularities of the two surfaces which are in contact. The irregularities are interlocked with each other and it tries to block the motion of the objects. So, when the irregularities are more, the friction is more. Also, we have seen that friction causes wear and tear. It causes the parts of the machines to be hot and some of the energy is wasted. So, in that case, friction is not a desirable thing it is undesirable or we say that friction is an evil. So, if that is the case, can we think about a world without friction? If there is no friction, there is no wear and tear, there is no heating of the parts of the machines, there is no wastage of energy, will it be good? Is everything ok if there is no friction at all? No. See, if friction is not there, we cannot even walk. The machines cannot work. We cannot hold the things with our hand. The life will become so impossible then. It is with the help of friction that we are able to walk, that we are able to hold the things with our hand, that one part of the machine is able to move other part of the machine. So, in this sense, friction is necessary. It is desirable. So, we say that friction is desirable in some situations, whereas friction is not desirable in some other situations. So, we say that friction is a necessary evil. So, there are situations in which we need friction, friction is helping us and there are some other situations in which we do not want friction, friction is undesirable. So, it is a tricky situation, how to overcome this? So, what we do? In situations where friction is necessary, friction is desirable, we try to maximize friction. And in situations where friction is not necessary, it is undesirable, we try to minimize it. Today, in this session, what we are going to do? We are going to discuss about how do we maximize friction wherever it is desirable and how do we minimize friction wherever it is undesirable. How we are going to do this? we are going to discuss now. Let us take this example. Shiva and Ravi are playing carom board. Shiva is asking Ravi to pass the striker to him. They found that the striker does not move freely. It gets stopped in the midway suddenly. Seeing this, Ravi puts some white powder on the carom board and the striker moves freely. You might have done this while playing carom board. Why the striker moves freely when the white powder is sprinkled on the surface of the carom board? What actually happens when we are putting this white powder on the surface? The striker does not move freely when the friction between the striker and the board is more. We know that the irregularities of the surfaces causes friction. So, the irregularities between the bottom surface of the coin and the top surface of the carom board, if it is more, there will be more friction and it causes the coin not to move freely. As we sp sprinkle the carom powder, the carom powder fills the irregularities of the surface and it helps the coin to move freely then. So, we have seen one situation in which friction is not desirable and how do we overcome this? I have some questions to you. After sprinkling the carom powder on the surface and if you start playing, after some time what happens and what we have to do then? That is my first question try to find answer for this. 
the next question is that can we reduce the friction to zero is it possible so try to find answer to these questions all of you might be familiar with tailoring machine at least you might have seen at least one time sometimes it becomes difficult to work with the tailoring machine it doesn't move freely when we are pedaling it then what do we do you might have seen that people apply oil at some parts of the tailoring machine and we have seen that after applying this oil the machine works so smoothly did you see the rope and pulley arrangement for fetching water from the well villages use this sometimes it becomes hard to rotate the pulley and the pulley makes some sound what do we do then yes you might have seen that villages they apply some oil to the pulley after putting the oil to the pulley the sound stops pulley moves freely so in these situations after applying oil to the tailoring machine and in this case of pulley it works smoothly what actually happens when we are putting oil what are we actually doing here we know that it becomes difficult to move the objects when there is more friction if we want to move the objects we have to overcome the friction or we have to reduce the friction so here we apply oil to reduce the friction so the oil fills the irregularities and it becomes a layer it forms a layer on the surface of the two surfaces which are moving we know that it becomes difficult to move the objects when there is more friction so for the free movement we have to reduce the friction somehow so in these situations which we discussed just now we are using oil so the oil fills the irregularities of the surfaces and it forms a layer in between and thereby the friction is greatly reduced so we use some substances which forms a layer and reduces friction and these substances are known as lubricants so this is another way of reducing friction by the use of lubricants so we discussed one lubricant that is oil there are different types of lubricants so i suggest you to find out the different names of the lubricants that are used in different places also try to find out is there any other type of lubricants other than liquid so we have discussed about the lubricant and in this case oil acts as a lubricant i suggest you to make a list of lubricants that are used in different places also i suggest you to find out a lubricant's name which is not in the form of liquid okay let us take another case it is quite often we may have to carry big suitcases and bags while traveling did you notice these bags they have some wheels it is so easy to carry the trolley suitcases compared with those without wheels why is it so yes here also friction is the villain when you slide a bag friction opposes the motion of the bag you have to apply extra force to overcome this friction and to move the bag so what are we doing by fixing the wheels to it okay let us see this simple example see i have kept one book on the top of this table if i want to move this book i have to apply a force and the applied force should be more than the friction it should overcome the friction and then only the book can move so i am applying a force look at this
as I apply a force, the book moves on the table. Now, I keep few pens on the top of this table, like this. So, I kept few pens on the top of the table and I take this book and I am keeping this book on the top of these pens like this. Now, if I want to move this book, it is much easier. The book moves with less even less force. Now, I take two pens and these two pens I arrange on the top of the table like this. I take this book and I keep the book on the table of So, now if I apply a force the book moves freely. So, it is easier in the second case compared with the first case. The same thing is applied in the case of trolley bags. Now, can you tell what are we doing here? Yes, exactly we are converting the sliding friction into rolling friction and we know that rolling friction is less than the sliding friction. So, the use of wheels and converting the sliding friction into rolling friction is applied in many situations. We say wheel is the greatest inventions of the mankind. Now, you may be having a better idea about this sentence right. Have you seen people moving heavy objects by keeping the heavy object on the top of some pipes? So, there are several situations in which the sliding friction is converted into rolling friction. Some of the situations we discussed here, I suggest you to observe around you and make a list of situations in which the sliding friction is converted into rolling friction and thereby we do the things easily. Okay? Have you ever visited a cycle repair shop? Have you seen some small spherical objects kept between the parts of a machine and these spherical objects help in movement of these parts. What are these spherical objects? These are known as ball bearings. So, the ball bearings help in rotation of the objects. These are known as ball bearings and these ball bearings convert the sliding friction into rolling friction and reduce the friction. So, we have seen one more situation in which friction is not desirable and how do we overcome this. Now, let us discuss some cases where friction is desirable and how do we maximize friction. Let us take an example. We are all familiar that walking on a smooth wet floor is difficult. If you do not take care, we may even fall down. You might have seen the caution boards kept when the floor is wet after cleaning. We are unable to walk freely or even we may fall down because of the lack of sufficient friction. If you look at the sole of your shoe or sandal, you can see that it is grooved. These grooves are made for increasing the friction so that we can walk safely. If you look at the running spikes used by athletes, you can see sharp spikes at the sole. These spikes are fitted there to give sufficient friction while running. Children, have you seen the running spikes used by the athletes? Did you notice the sole of the running spikes? Here, there is a running spike. If you look at the sole, you can see sharp spikes fitted to the sole. See, these sharp 
spikes help for getting better friction. So, while running it gives a better grip. Did you see such grooves somewhere else? Yes, the tyres are treaded to increase the friction. What happens after the prolonged use of these tyres? What do we do then? Try to find out. Okay. Have you ever played kabaddi? Oh, it is an interesting and thrilling game, right? When a rider from the opposite team comes to our side, we rub our hands with soil. Why do we do this? Rubbing hands with soil increases the friction and we can catch the rider easily. Otherwise, the rider may slip out of the hands. Did you see gymnasts performing? They apply some coarse substance on their hands to increase friction for better grip. What happens to the bicycle's brake part after long use? Its surface becomes more even and less friction will be there between the brake part and the cycle tire. Then it becomes difficult to stop the bicycle. What do we do then? We change the brake part with a new one. Did you see the surface of a new brake part? There will be grooves made for providing a better friction. So, we have seen that there are many situations in which friction is desirable and we increase friction. So, we have discussed in today's session the situations in which friction is desirable and how do we maximize friction, how do we increase friction and we have discussed situations in which friction is not desirable, undesirable and how do we reduce the friction. I suggest you to observe your surroundings carefully and add examples to the list of situations in which friction is desirable and the situations in which friction is not desirable. Also try to find out in these situations how do we increase or decrease friction. So, I stop here. Thank you all.